389 days ago, I climbed up in your black pickup truck, and little did I know then that you would drive off with my heart and have it ever since. You were the missing piece to the puzzle I had almost given up on until you walked into my life. I have never been one who enjoyed making decisions, but walking up to you at Southern Pines Ball Field was the best decision I have made. When we were younger, you started off with the look you gave. I spread over and over among us. When we were younger, there you go. When we were younger. <laughs> Just over one year ago, I found myself content, so I thought, to live my life alone. My plan was to immerse myself in Sarah Beth and Liza's lives, and in that, find true happiness. On a sunny evening at the softball field, my life changed forever. A beautiful bond instantly changed everything that I thought I knew. The decisions following that one became easier and easier as I fell in love more and more. You were my person. You were patient, thoughtful, and so caring. I love those blue eyes and the way you hold me and pull me in at exactly the right time to make the sun shine again. I love your wit and your charm, but most of all, I love the way you love me. By the time we left the lake on our first day together, I knew God had placed my person into my life at exactly the perfect time. Today on April 7th, we are vowing to love each other in front of God and all of our friends and family. I take you today exactly as you are, vowing to all of our days to come without hesitation. I will respect you and support you and promise to never let you forget how proud I am to be yours. I can't end without mentioning the two beautiful girls who stole my heart right along with you. I'm excited for what God has in store for our lives together. I am blessed on this day to marry the most beautiful woman, a wonderful Christian, a loving mother to my children, and my best friend. I promise to become a better man, husband, and father with your help. I promise to always love them as if they were my own. I'm so excited to build a family together rooted in faith and love. You and the girls are my sunshine on all of my rainy days, and I promise from this day forward to always be that for you three. Today you become my husband, but you will never stop being my person. I love you more than I ever thought anyone could love anything or anyone, and I promise today to never stop as we endure all of life's journeys ahead. I love you, Dustin Philip Gay, and I am more than ready to meet you at the altar and become your wife. I, Dustin, take you, Katie. I, Katie, take you, Dustin. To be my wife. To be my husband. My constant friend. My faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To laugh and cry with you. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Katie, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. By the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, according to the laws of the state of Georgia, and the Father of the Bride, I now declare you to be husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Dustin, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to be the first to introduce to you Dr. and Mrs. Dustin Gay. Yeah.